everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Steinmeier. I'm a senior product designer based in the Bay Area. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to take your designs to complete code in Swift UI. This is a really exciting time right now where we can use AI to prototype and be able to do it fast and easy. So we're going to walk through from Figma and then using a Figma plugin that is powered by AI. We'll then take that into Xcode, Swift UI, Swift, and you will see your designs come to life in a second. Let's do it. So first I installed Xcode and you can do that in the App Store. And um, I would select first the components, so Mac OS, and then I also selected for predictive code uh, completion model and it's Xcode's predictive code completion model that runs locally on your Mac to provide improved Swift code completion. So you can click download and install. And then here's what's new in Xcode. You have previews. You're able to also um, have the build diagnostics. All of this is just an overview. And then once you get through that screen, you have the option to create a new project. So click create new project. And then here, because we're not doing Apple Vision Pro at this time, Vision OS, we're just sticking with iOS. And at this time, you can also download the latest iOS 18.2 and select document app and then click next. And then for this part, uh, you can just name it whatever you want. This is a concept I'm working on. It's called music. AI, just a generic word for now, but it is a music app that I'm working on. And uh, you would put none for team, or you can put your name if you have a membership. And then here, you would always want to put the com dot first. So uh, it's backwards. That's just the way that they have the bill, uh, bundle identifier. And then you would want to select the interface, Swift UI, language Swift, and then for here, you would have uh, the Swift testing. This, I, I don't think it matters as much, but for me, I added this one UI tests. And because I'm not using any data, I selected none. Uh, and then I click next. And then here you select where you want the, the, the project to be. And then I created a folder called music AI. And then uh, I clicked create. Come here into Xcode and you have the content view dot Swift file. You have the app Swift file, you have the document Swift file. And I'm not going to get into all those details right now because we are just focusing on the UI. So once you have that set up, you can jump over to the, the Figma plugin. And for the Figma plugin, I use this one. It's called Figma to AI Code by Design Code. So you can search this Figma plugin in the plugin section. Uh, you can go to your community profile and then go to plugins and then search by this name and then click open in. And so in open in, you would select the file. So it would open up the file, right? And so this is the file that I'm using. This is the wireframe design that I want to import into Swift UI into Xcode. And so here you can see the plugin on the right hand side. So you click run and then it asks you the framework. And so I'm going to fix the change the framework and the model and if you do click convert to code it's not going to do anything because you have to have an api key depending on which model you're using so you would then want to open up the i decided to use anthropic so i opened up this url console.anthropic.com settings uh, keys so here it says that you know you need to have uh, credits in order to run this in order to use the api keys so i after i added some funds to the account i then go to settings and i click create key and here i just have default for now for the team workspace and then i create my name key so it's a secret key you don't want to share that with anyone uh, once i create it i copy paste it and then it also you can see it's here as well and then i come back to figma and i enter in the key here so i i switched the api provider to anthropic and then i added the api key and then for the framework i selected swift ui 
and you want to make sure that when you click converts uh, to code that you have the frame selected and that everything is inside that frame otherwise it won't work so after you click converting you will then see the code here at the bottom and then you would click the copy paste icon and then you would come over to Xcode and you would want to copy paste the code into the content view Swift file. So this is the content view Swift file. So you copy paste the code here and then you would want to come over to the app.swift file and update the structure to make sure that the name is corresponding with the other files. So this case is called vibe detection view and you would want to come over here and make sure that it's matching up. Otherwise you'll get an error screen. So here I've copy pasted it in and you can see in the preview mode content view uh, that this is showing, but there is this weird white space on the top and bottom. And the way that I addressed this was by finalizing the adjustments, removing the padding, uh, also making sure that uh, the full screen coverage gradient and the view were covered edge to edge dynamically. So with the code updates, here, this is what it looks like. Uh, so it is really quick and fast and easy. It's a great way to quickly convert your designs into working code. So that is it for this tutorial. If you're interested, follow along. I'll come out with more prototyping tutorials using AI, using Swift UI, Xcode, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.